And when you think G-Man, you can only think of the man who was almost definitely wearing a lacy G-string panty. J. Edgar Hoover. That's right! On the radio and the movie screen, America saw the G-Man as the great white savior in America. In reality, the G-Man was, in every sense of the word, an American Gestapo. This time you have gone too far. Some might say so, yes, but when I see an institution that regularly used illegal and blatantly unconstitutional methods to spy upon and arrest citizens engaged in lawful activities simply because of their assumed political beliefs or protected political speech, the difference between the FBI and the Gestapo just, it, it gets a little blurry. And I mean, trying to convince the MLK to commit suicide was bad, sure, but you know, participating in the police execution of the Black Panther leader Fred Hampton that just seems pretty bad to me. That does sound bad. Yeah. Sorry, that was a bit of a discretion. Anyway, J. Edgar Hoover. Why is he in a dress? And his FBI began to cooperate with Hollywood to get the kind of stories they wanted into the minds of Americans. And, and Hollywood cooperated happily so long as the money flowed. The studio moguls gave no fucks about what the message was. 